हेलो दोस्तों हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू गैज आर गुड सो दोस्तों टूडे टॉपिक इज ऑल अबाउट टेराफॉर्म बेसिक्स राइट बट बिफोर वी गेट स्टार्टेड इफ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी मेक श्योर टू हिट दैट सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड द नोटिफिकेशन बेल सो यू नेवर मिस एनी ऑफ माई फ्यूचर वीडियोज नॉ लेट जम्प राइट इन टू ओवर व्यू ऑफ टेराफॉर्म एंड इट्स की फीचर्स सो फर्स्ट Uh, Terraform is an open source infrastructure as code (IAC) right tool that allows you to provision and manage your infrastructure in a declarative manner, and it enables you to define your infrastructure as code using a high-level configuration language, and then automatically creates and manages the resources in various cloud providers, data centers, or other infrastructure providers, right. so uh, key features of terraform is first infrastructure as code iac right so terraform treats infrastructure as code meaning you define your infrastructure requirements in a declarative language and store it in version control version control like git right so this approach allows you to manage your infrastructure in a similar way as you manage your application code so second one is multi cloud and provider support so terraform support multiple cloud provider like amazon web service awx microsoft azure google cloud platform gcp and many others so it allows support non cloud infrastructure providers such as vmware docker and kubernetes so this flexibility allows you to manage resources across different providers using a single tool get it next one is declarative configuration language so terraform uses its own declarative configuration language called hasicrop configuration language in short form hcl right so hcl is uh, easy to read and write and it provides a simple syntax for defining resources their dependencies and uh, their properties so with hcl you can express complex infrastructure configuration in a human readable format fourth one is resource graph and dependency management so terraform analyzes your infrastructure configuration and builds a resource dependency graph so this graphs allow terraform to determine the correct order of resource creation and updates get it so it ensures that resources are created or modified in the right sequence avoiding any potential conflicts or issues get it fifth one is plan and preview changes so terraform provides a plan command that uh, allows you to preview the changes that will be applied to your infrastructure before actually executing them right so this helps you understand the impact of the changes and detect any potential issues or conflicts sixth and last point is infrastructure state management so terraform maintains a state file that keeps track of the resource it manages so this state file is used to plan and apply changes incrementally so avoiding any unnecessary modifications it allows allow you to collaborate with your team by sharing the state file enabling multiple people to work on the same infrastructure so a, a real time example is let's consider an example where you want to provision infrastructure on aws amazon web services using terraform so you need to create a vpc vpc it means virtual private cloud with subnet security group and ec2 elastic compute cloud instance get it so first define the infrastructure configuration so you create a terraform configuration file for example main.tf tf this is basically extension of terraform where you define the vpc subnets security groups and ec2 instance resources using the terraform so terraform hcl hasicrop configuration language and second one is initialize and validate right so run the terraform in it it means initialize 
command to initialize the working directory and download the necessary provider plugins and then use the terraform validate command to validate the syntax and configuration of your terraform files get it third one is plan and preview so execute terraform plan to preview the changes that will be applied terraform will analyze the configuration and display the execution plan showing the resources that will be created modified or deleted fourth one is apply the changes so once you are satisfied with uh, with the plan run so uh, terraform apply to apply the changes and terraform will create the bpc virtual private cloud subnets security groups and launch the ec2 instance according to your configuration Fifth one is infrastructure state management. So Terraform will generate a state file. For example, terraform.tf state, Terraform state, get it? So that keeps track of the created resources and their current state. This state file will be used for subsequent operations such as making changes or destroying the infrastructure. Sixth and last point is update and destroy so if you need to update the infrastructure you can modify your terraform configuration and run terraform apply again get it so terraform will determine the necessary changes and apply them incrementally to destroy the infrastructure execute terraform destroy and terraform will remove all the resources define your configuration get it so next one is installing and setup of terraform like how to install and setup of terraform right so uh, uh, here i am explain step by step so first step is download terraform so visit the official terraform website is this right and then download the appropriate terraform binary package for your operating system suppose your operating system is windows so according to that uh, you download according to that binary package suppose uh, you uh, your operating system is linux right so you download your binary package according to your operating system basically download your binary package get it so next one is step 2 is extract the terraform binary so once the download is complete extract the download package to a directory of your choice for example on linux or mac os you can extract it using the following command command is unzip and terraform.zip get it so third one is basically step 3 is configuration and environment variable so this is basically optional and you want uh, uh, that uh, uh, like right so you do it otherwise uh, this is optional get, get it so fourth one is step 4 is verify the installation so open a new terminal window or command prompt run the following command to verify that terraform is successfully installed and accessible so uh, you write terraform versions so you should see the terraform version number display in the output get it so that's it and now you successfully install your terraform so next one is configuration and setup of the terraform project structure so when working with terraform organizing your project structure is important for maintain uh, maintainability and scalability so here's a suggested project structure structure that is easy to understand and follow so first is create a root directory so this is very important so start by creating a root directory for your terraform project and you can name it based on your project name or any meaningful identifier get it second is initialize terraform configuration so inside the root directory initialize terraform by running the following command terraform in it in it it means initialize right so this commands initialize the working directory and downloads the necessary providers plugins specified in your configuration files third one is create configuration files so create a separate directory within the root directory to store your terraform configuration files so you can name it something like terraform or configuration whatever right so inside the configuration directory create .tf .tf this is basically extension files to define your infrastructure resources after that start with a 
main.tf file which typically contains the main configuration uh, for your infrastructure get it then additionally you can create separate .tf files for different resources types or for or logical components of your infrastructure such as network.tf compute.tf security.tf whatever right then splitting your configuration into multiple files can help with modularity and organization fourth one is variables and input so if your infrastructure configuration requires input value like ip addresses instance size or other parameters define them using variables get it so create a variables.tf file to define your variables and their types you can also set default values and add description to provide clarity and improve documentation fifth one is output values so if you want to expose specific information about your infrastructure after its provision so create an output.tf file define the output values uh, you want to retrieve such as ip address endpoint urls and uh, uh, or any other relevant data output can be useful for retrieving information for further automation or integrating with other systems get it sixth one is managing a state so terraform requires a state file to keep track of the resources it manages by default the state is stored locally as a file name is terraform.tf state however it's recommended to use remote state management for uh, uh, collaboration and durability so you can configure remote state storage using backend providers like aws s3 azure blob storage or hasicrop terraform cloud and add a backend.tf file to specify the backend configuration including the provider bucket and other necessary details so modules this is basically optional right but i read this as i uh, as your infrastructure grows consider using modules to encapsulate reusable and manageable piece of your configuration create a modules directory within the root directory and then inside the modules directory create separate directories for each module containing their own .tf file terraform files get it so modules allow you to create self contained reusable components that can be shared across project or used multiple times within the same project right so uh, third one is understanding terraform providers and resources so basically what is provider and what are resources right so in terraform provider and resources types are fundamental concept uh, that allows you to define and manage infrastructure resources across various platforms let's understand providers and resources types with real time example so first is providers so basically providers are plugins in terraform that enables communication and interaction with different infrastructure platform or services such as cloud providers like aws azure or gcp google cloud provider get it so second one is each provider offers a set of resources and data sources that terraform can manage providers handles the underlying api interaction and resource so example suppose you want to provision resources on aws using terraform so in this case you would use to aws provider so the provider block in your terraform configuration file it means main.tf would look like this so first you write provider provider is aws and reason is this get it so in this example above the provider block configures the aws provider to interact with resources in the uh, this reason get it third uh, second one is resources type so resource type represents the specific infrastructure components or services that you want to provision and manage using 
terraform so each resource type belongs to a specific provider and has its own set of properties that you can define and configure resource type define the desired state of the infrastructure and terraform ensures that the actual state match the desired state so this is very important line right so example is let's consider an example where you want to create an amazon ec2 instance using terraform so the resource block in your terraform configuration file would look like this first is resource is aws instance ami id is this instance type is t2 micro tag is basically this right so in their example above the resource block configures an ec2 instance resource using the aws instance resource type get it it specifies the amazon machine image ami id the instance type and assign a name tag to the instance get it so by combining provider and resources or uh, type you can provision and manage a wide range of infrastructure resources such as virtual machine database storage networking components and more so remember to run terraform in it it means initialize right after adding a provider block and download the necessary provider plugins and terraform plan and terraform apply so to create or update the resource based on your configuration get it so thank you all for watching this video to quickly recap we discussed in this video is understanding terraform providers and resources and configuration the setup of the terraform project structure installation and setup of terraform and last one is uh, overview of terraform and its key key feature get it so hopefully you find the information useful and learn something new if you have any questions or would you like to share your thoughts please leave a comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more content like this we appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video take care and have a fantastic day